What's up guys, bright and early here this morning. It's about 6.15 right now. We just arrived at the beach, just rigging up, and uh, we're doing something a little bit interesting today. We're going, we're participating in the Sand Crab Classic, and that's just a little tournament that they put on here uh, in Monterey Bay area. Uh, I think the meetup afterwards is in Santa Cruz. So basically what the Sand Crab Classic is, there's four different divisions. There's adult, there's child, there's a women's division, and then there's a fly fishing division. And then within each division, there's two different derbies. There's barred surf perch, and then there's any every other kind of surf perch. So today, what we're gonna be doing, and what probably most of the majority of the field is gonna be doing, we're gonna look for that barred surf perch. And I'm going, I came to a spot where I think I can get one over three pounds, because I gotta believe that that's what it's gonna take to win this. And uh, you can probably guess what bait I'm using. Just tied it on right here. The good old Lucky Craft, and I've said it before, but I think if you're looking for one big bite, this is the bait to do it with. So we gotta get out there. This is prime time fishing time, and uh, let's see if we can get a fish. All right guys, not gonna lie, it's pretty cold out here, but we got really good conditions in terms of swell and waves. Uh, the swell is pretty low right now, and it's super low tide. I think this is right at peak low. So we're gonna be working up all day, and I got a good feeling about this spot. It just looks, looks really perchy. And uh, hopefully it pounds out for us. We'll see, a, see if we can find a fish out here. There we go, there's one. Feels like a decent one. It's going sideways in the way, that's for sure. Oh yeah, this looks like a good one. Use the high drag a little bit. Got a good little spot here, I'll explain it in a second once I hopefully land this fish. If it's a perch, it's a good one. I got a feeling it might be something a little bit different, but if this is a perch, we're going to be in business here. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like another species. Oh yeah. Well, unfortunately this is a perch derby, but hey, we'll take that any day. That's the quality striped bass right there. Definitely a keeper. Well, unfortunately, this is a perch derby, but we'll take a striper out here any day. I mean, this is quality fish. Definitely a keeper. Let's measure him just to make sure. All right, guys, let's see how long this guy is. I guess it's like 21 inches. Let's see how good my fish measuring skills are. Oh, underestimated. It's actually about 20. 20, just under 23 inches. Almost. Perfect, so about 22 incher, 23 incher. In my opinion, these are the perfect sized fish in terms of eating. The big ones, they can be a little uh, tough, and uh, this is just perfect size right here. So we're gonna keep this guy. I got a feeling there's more out there, but I'm hoping that maybe there's a giant perch mixed in with them. So we're gonna get back out real quick. Let's get back to throwing. That was only like my second or third cast in this little spot here. And typically striped bass are schooling fish, so I got a feeling there's more in this little area. And yeah, we're gonna keep working it. Like I said in the beginning, we're in a perch derby, so ideally I'm targeting perch, but it's hard to pass up a good striper spot. So you never know, these two fish could be mixed up in the same spot too, so we could catch some perch here as well. Uh, there's only one way to find out. So let me explain this little spot we're in right here. So for those of you who are new to surf fishing, ideally when you're fishing surf, you want to find the spots where there's a little bit deeper water. And uh, oftentimes they refer to those as holes, troughs, whatever you want to call it. Basically, areas where there's a little bit deeper water closer to the surf, closer to the, to the beach, so that these fish can hang out in there 
and just kind of scoop up the sand crabs. Usually they're feeding on sand crabs here close to the beach. And uh, basically what we got here, it might be kind of hard to see on the GoPro, but there's this shallow area to my left. And that's where all that white water is. And then right to the right here, where I'm throwing, is a deep pocket. And pretty much my theory as to why these fish are in here, with a striper, or perch, whatever, is they're sitting in this deep hole, waiting for the sand crabs and the bait to just get washed off of the sandbar. We've got a little bit of a current going from left to right. So that current is gonna wash off that bait right off the sandbar and into this deep hole. And I think that's where these fish are just hanging out ready to scoop up a early morning meal and uh, we also got a few sea lions here as well usually those are not not beneficial in terms of fishing hello guys bite was good here. I actually got a few more bites after that last one. Fortunately couldn't convert and then now we got two surfers that came right in on my spot here. It's literally the whole beach. No surfers and uh, they decided to come right in here so I think they kind of put this bite on hold. Probably spooked the fish around here so I'm gonna move down and hopefully find another pod of a uh, schooling fish. Here's one. I think this is another striper, unfortunately. That'd be my first guess. But you never know, hey, this perch is gonna be a good one. Yeah, it's a striper. Another decent one. About the same size as my last one. Maybe a touch smaller. There we go, another quality striper, probably about 20, 19 or 20 inches, I'll let this one go. Alright, live to fight another day, buddy. Hopefully we catch him again when he's a 30 pounder. There's one. Oh, right on the surface. Look at that guy jumping right there. One thing that's cool about hooking these fish on the plug like this, they tend to, right when you hook them, they tend to shoot straight for the surface and then they put on a nice little display for you like that. There he is, bring him in. They're all about the same size cookie cutters. Well, if this was a striper derby, we'd do, be doing pretty well. This is our third stripe bass. We actually had a couple other hits that didn't stick. So uh, there's a lot of stripe bass in this area. But uh, unfortunately for this derby, it's a surf perch derby. So as much as I'd like to keep catching these stripe bass here, I'm gonna actually head out to another beach. So I think it's just pure striper here. And uh, maybe we'll come back here for another video because, hey, can't complain we're gonna catch a striper out here in the surf. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna hit up another beach, so let's get back to the car. We only have a few more hours left. Well guys, I just did like the number one thing they say not to do in fishing, and that's leave fish to find fish. But I'm hoping that I'm leaving the wrong type of fish to find the right type of fish. And uh, sand crab classic, it only comes around once a year. And my goal when I set out was to go catch a giant perch. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I think this spot might be giving me a better shot to catch a perch. And that's what we're gonna, exactly what we're gonna try to do. So I have about two hours left to fish before I gotta head in and hopefully weigh in a fish if I can catch one. All right guys, cast here for about 30 minutes or so. No action for me, and there's quite a few other fishermen here, and I don't really see anyone 
catching much of anything. So in the interest of time, I'm gonna go and try one more spot. Not giving up just quite yet. I'm gonna see if I can find some perch. So stay tuned. All right guys, this is it. Rain's coming down good, which is perfect for us because that's what we're used to. And uh, I got one last hour to try and catch a mega surf perch. So I'm gonna chuck this lucky craft for a couple minutes here. Probably give it like 10 casts. And then if nothing happens, we'll put on the sand crab. But uh, like I said, rain's coming down pretty good here, which honestly I prefer when I'm fishing the surf. So hey, maybe this will bring me some good luck. Time check. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably about 11.30. The sand crab is fully engaged. It's only fitting that we end the sand crab classic with the, the classic sand crab bait. So hopefully we can find a perch here in the closing minutes. If not, it's been a good ride. Well, I think we got a perch on here. It's definitely not a monster, not a derby winner. But I think it's our first perch of the day. Finally, the target species. Well, there it is. Not the size we're looking for, but it is the target species. We're gonna get that one back real quick. Hopefully there's a bigger one out there. All right, that's gonna do it for the fishing side for me. Time to go eat. guys that's gonna wrap it up for me today here unfortunately the one day when I'm trying not to catch a striped bass happens to be the day when I catch the most so far this year so kind of ironic but hey can't complain it was a good day out on the water I'll leave all my baits and all my gear linked in the description below once again caught on the lucky craft it's probably seemed like a broken record if you've uh, watched my past videos but anyway I'll leave that link below if you want to check it out obviously work today and uh, could be working for you when the striped bass come in a little bit more in bigger numbers during the summer. So, uh, really fun event, happy to be a part of it. So a little bit about this event. Uh, once the fishing is done, they give you a free lunch that just comes with the price of admission. Uh, there's a raffle, there's a silent auction, there's really something for everyone at this event. So if you're interested, highly recommend checking it out. I think it happens the second Friday of March, or sorry, the second Saturday of March every year. So highly recommend it if you're interested in learning a little bit about fishing here on the Central Coast. A lot of good anglers coming out for this event. So anyway, I'll leave it linked in the description below if you want to see more. And a special shout out to my man Bushy, who I met here at the tournament. I'm surprised I haven't seen him before. He's a fellow kayak angler out here on the Central Coast. He really knows what he's doing out in the kayak, so hope to run into him again on the water sometime. But other than that, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.